Hey guys, it's Rich Swain from the Storage Tank. Wanted to talk to you today about how to find out where you can actually create volumes instead of just how to create the volume. So I've gone into my Hyperscale Manager and you can see I've got my three systems um, allocated here. One Flash A9, an XIV, and a Spectrum Accelerate uh, software-defined system. And one of the quick ways you can see from a Per, uh, storage air, uh, allocation is that uh, these bars underneath of the um, the dashboard here, you can see how much uh, has been allocated along with volumes and snapshots versus how much you can actually uh, write out to. Um, again, you know, on my A9, I've got about 116 terabytes that has been allocated along with snapshots um, out to, you know, my here's my limit of 1.4 petabytes. Um, and again, for my XIV and then for my spec from Accelerate. So that's one of the easy ways to kind of just see, you know, real quickly off, off of the uh, screen here where I can start, you know, looking at putting data. But a lot of times putting data is not just about, you know, having enough space on the system. It's also about performance. So one of the things that you can um, come in and see where you have, you know, might need some, uh, put some performance um, is below that, as you can see how many, you know, IOPS is running. And this is a current view, you know, this is actually how much is running at this point in time. Um, but sometimes you need a little bit more information. So let's dig into this a little bit more. So I'm going to go over here and click on my volumes and pools. And I'm going to look at some pools real quick. I'm going to change this so we don't have to see all of my pools across all of the systems. I'm just going to look at my pools over on my A9000. So I look at my pools here. I can see how much is written to, what the pool size is, um, what my volume size. And I can come in and I can click on any one of these. So let's let's click on this notes uh, volume here, a pool, sorry. And so I can see in my, um, in my screen here that of my uh, A9000 notes pool, my usage is about 10%. So I can go over and I can see, you know, over on the hub side, you know, I've got one pool. I can see how many volumes. I've got 11 volumes in one domain. Uh, let's compare that to a, a little bit busier uh, pool over here on my exchange. So I'm going to click on exchange pool. And I can see down here real quickly that we're at 74%. And if you click on this expanding window, you actually get a little bit more information. So I can see more information about this pool, where there, you know, how much volume space um, for each one of those, and how much uh, throughput or um, how much has been allocated to each one. I can change um, this from uh, the the range from you know just the last uh, couple of days to month, week, year, however you need to see that, and you can export this out. But a lot of times, again, still I'm, I'm, I'm really needing a little bit more information. So let's dive into and look at the volumes on this pool, on this A9000. Right now, when we first go into that, we're going to um, look at all nine volumes across everything in there. I can, down here, I can see um, my volume statistics from IOPS, my latency, and also my bandwidth totals. And you can uh, go in here and select or deselect each one. Um, by clicking on and that will change what you see down here below so again I can ch click on this first volume and I can see that uh, I'm driving about 60,000 IOPS a uh, little, little more than 20 uh, megaseconds latency um, if I expand this you can actually go in and see again more information anytime you see that little expanding window you can expand it out so by default, we're going to see all the statistics across that volume for all the interfaces for our current um, for your current IOPS. You can also drop that down and see um, current latency or current bandwidth. But a lot of times, you know, that kind of gives us an, a different idea if we look across different times. So if I wanted to see a historical information, in other words, this is something that may peak once a, once a day, once a week, I can come in and say, uh, show me historical IOPS across all interfaces. And then I can set my range to, again, last week, last month, last day, last hour, or you can do a custom range. Now let's look at just last month. Maybe it's a payroll job or something. And I can come in here. I can find the day that uh, that had a peak. I can select on it and see exactly what the IOPS are. So again, a lot of information. Great, um, easy use. Um, easy to get to and, and have a wealth of information to help make uh, better decisions. Uh, if you have any comments or uh, questions, please leave them below. And I'll try and do some more videos. Thanks, everybody.